Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix sync issues in Cal AI. Frustrated that your data isn't syncing between devices or apps like Apple Health or Fitbit? Don't worry, sync issues are common but easily fixable. A simple restart or permission tweaks is usually all it takes. Now in this video tutorial, I'll walk you through how to diagnose and fix sync issues in Cal AI so your sets stay accurate and up to date. Now before it starts, I have to notify you that using Cal AI requires a premium subscription to access its features. So make sure you uh, pay for the premium subscription to access all the features. Now the first step is to check your internet connection. Make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi or mobile data. You can go to your Android device and uh, see if you're connected to the Wi-Fi mo or mobile data. Now here syncing won't uh, work offline. The second step is to reconnect to, uh, the external app. And to do that, just go to Cal AI and go to settings. And once you pay for the subscription, you'll find uh, in the settings integration option that uh, makes uh, the connection with the external app uh, available. Tap disconnect and then reconnect it. You can use this with Apple Health, Fitbit, etc. The third step is to confirm permissions are enabled. For iOS, just go to settings privacy and then health and then choose Cal AI and enable all toggles. For Fitbit, log into your Fitbit account through the Cal AI app and authorize full access. As for the fourth step is to refresh or force sync and you can use the manual refresh option if available and some integrations sync every few hours, so wait briefly. And as for the fifth and final step, update the app or reinstall. If nothing else works, check for app updates as a last resort. And you can uninstall and reinstall the app. Sync issues can interrupt your workflow, but once fixed, Cal AI becomes seamless again. Staying synced across platforms ensure all your health data is unified and reliable. And this was it for today's tutorial. If you liked this video and found this helpful, please like and subscribe. And feel free to leave a comment below the video if you have further more questions about this topic. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next tutorial.